Oh my god, get over it, dude. Sometimes you push people over. Sometimes things happen, okay? It's just the way life is. Toughen up, dude. So we're gonna go talk to Arthur's girlfriend. I mean, the person I ship him with. His ex-girlfriend. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but... I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am... A shame to do so. Yours, Mary. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. What is... Go away! What are you looking at? Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. He came to speak I'm to you. I'm begging you, you Arthur. Him. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for than her me? than... Than Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... It's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I think Arthur deserves to be a little angry. Just saying. It's like Sorry. she only asks him for things. She doesn't really... <sighs> I am... I should have asked someone yeah, you else. Yeah, I should have. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Girl! It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far Why away you now. Why you just make out right now? Will you help me try to no save one's Daddy? You. We're going to help her. I need to stop helping her, though. Please. Come along, Dan. Where are we, we going? We can't know where this. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling. And... Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. We're taking the AMB. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. Saying that now doesn't help. But... Well, I don't know. 
you want to make out, that's what you should know. Just saying. No, so what do you think he's out. up to? I'm not sure. I he keeps watch. saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. I shipped that. Standing, he's usually falling down. You know what? Arthur, Forget her. Maybe he'd be better off. He wasn't with girls always like this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, oh, yeah, we'll work this is it like out. in the 1800s, so AA didn't exist yet. So, kind of shit out of luck. Don't think it existed until the early 1900s. Place. Let me go in and see what kind awkward. of a state he's in. Oh, God. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. I mean, look, they're just always flirting. They're just always flirting. You can't stand there. I, I want to see Arthur happy. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just okay, get out of here. Dude. Why? I said, <sighs> just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone and said, lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue... To irritate oh, shit. Me. I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. So to me, you might Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you oh, myself. Oh, Daddy. No. You a oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. Oh, you get God, away from me. You head awful. home. Worse than I, I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse Ugh. me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's oh up to God. no good. We better follow That's him. That's too relatable. That's like okay. most of my family right there. Uh, yeah, every time you tell them to stop, they just, this uh, way. yep. Reminds me of one of my family members. Except, uh, less, uh, less violence. He went around the corner. Okay, okay, okay. We shouldn't even be bothered doing this. If he wants to drink himself to death, you can't. There's not much you can do to stop him. Just saying. Hold on. I'm an expert at this. You can see why he has such a high opinion oh, of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Let's beat him up. Don't get sober that way. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Oh, damn, dude. Calm down. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize oh, you're just I was saying here that to impress got to him. Cuddle all up next to her. Left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. I wanna. I, I think we should just slap him out upside the head. Say I never show you a good time. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. So 
That's probably what my friends would have done to me. I never get how people get so, like, violent and out of it when they're drunk. I've never been like that. When I was drunk, I'd just be pretty much very same to how I am right now. You know, I just, like... My personality didn't change very much. What's he doing? Plus, I had what do you think he's doing? So. Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. Oh, what's he selling? I bet it's important to her. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. It looks like the Phoenix That's mirror from Shenmue. Couch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Of course. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a least to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice. Mother left oh, it to me. Get the you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you, Mary? Um, uh, if I'm gonna kill someone, it's gonna be you, Jack. Hey, but, you I, I feel like I'm right confessing in this video. Oh, no, not another chase. I don't want to chase, I don't want to chase. I caught my horse. Hey! Stop that coach! I'm sure I probably could have jumped on it by now. Yeah, I need my horse. Why can't you just have me jump on my horse when we start? God damn it. Okay, okay, come on, come on, horse. Come on, come on. I bet I'm gonna lose now. No, no, I can't lose. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. There we go. God damn it. Get back here. Stop right now. There we go. Yeah, there's no way I could have ran that. Wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. Give How it to much me that. you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Eh, whatever. Do that. I Crazy just son about of a him. bitch. I mean, you don't know who you're whatever. messing with. But a hundred dollars. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Oh, shut up. Come on, horsey. Go flirt with Mary. 
She's probably not on the flirty mood right now. See, that's the thing. Like, why does she only call when she needs help? Like, that's not a bad thing, but this is just the thing. Like, if you're a friend, even if she just wants to be friends, that's what? cool. But this is a shitty thing to do. Don't do this to your friends. Don't only call them when you need help, okay? Offer help, too. Offer to be a decent person. Mary, it's kind of annoying. sticking out of my bed right now because I broke my bed. Where's your father? Um, so... I, I just don't know. stabbed myself. You want me to find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. She killed him! Thank you. She killed him. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Give him a little smooch. Come on. Come on. Now you don't have to. You don't have to do anything, girl. Hey. But uh, it would be it would be cute if you did. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Okay, good. She wants a date. Theater. Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Cute. Let's go to the Relure. Yes! Have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. Ah! I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> I just want Arthur to have a girlfriend, okay? Bravo! Oh, I have no, I have no chance to make a move. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for perfect, perfect moment. Told you not. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Okay, let's wait for the next opportunity. We're gonna try and make a movie, guys. We're gonna wake man Arthur. Let's not mess this up, okay? Like, I often 
watch YouTube and do other things while I play this game. Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? No. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Dude, do it! I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Oh, come on, run away with her! But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write oh, you. Arthur. Yeah. Aww. He's like me, you know? His revenge is, you know, I mean, not his revenge. But, like, you can't see past this. Like, just go. That'd be interesting if this game, like, allowed us to just, like, stop the game and, like, get an, like, the game just ends and he runs away, you know? That'd be kind of cool. But... No. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Oh, damn. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Bring the ladies with us. Just get going. I was, like, so excited. I, I'm gonna get to know the ladies All in right. the group. Head for roads. And but I guess, okay, we'll, 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 we'll figure that out no. until the situation. She's at a place called I'm excited Rattles to see her kick Just some west ass. of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, 
She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here yeah, to kill one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. <laughs> I, I love swear, her. I swear, you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, good. Let me know. If Dutch is dad, Miss Grimshaw is like the, the badass grandma. Yeah. She reminds me of my grandma T. My grandma T is, uh, she's a, she's tough as nails. Kind of like this lady. My grandma T is in her 90s and still kicking. So. That probably means I still got, I got a long life ahead of me, right? Most of my family have lived a long time. Um, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I don't know what's in the air right now. Um, my allergies weren't bothering me for a while, but I don't know what's going on right now. They're killing me. So I might, I might be itching my nose a lot during this let's play. Sorry if that irritates you. Um, yeah. Cool. I'm excited to get to know the ladies in the group. I always say that every time I see them, but like, that's, this is what I really like about the game, the story of the characters. The characters are so cool and believable. And every time I get to know the uh, a guard. characters, it's pretty them. cool. Take him out! Whoa. I think Miss Grimshaw's just gonna shoot him in the head. <laughs> this is gonna go, we're gonna end up gun blazing, aren't we? Need of some hell. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I knew it. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Grimshaw, <laughs> you crazy bitch! Oh my God, you crazy bitch! I love it. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? I should kick you it down. her before they put a bullet in her head. What the hell? Sorry. Okay. What the hell you think you're doing? Oh! I'm you in the face. That's what I'm doing. Okay, where is she? Oh, I should have interrogated him. God damn it. You thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come Poor along, girl. miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. 
Till it! Grab that gun! Anyone yeah. approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! <laughs> I like seeing the girl shoot people. <laughs> So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Oh yeah, Tilly's good. Torture him, kill Bill style. I love a good revenge story. Okay. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna <laughs> do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did. Fuck you now. Get off me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday there we go. like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Hit you one more time for good, for good measure. For good measure. Shut the hell up. All right, all right. Yeah, let's hit you again. <laughs> Almost there. You'll get more than a beating from Tilly, I think. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. This is what happens when you fuck so with my So he's still girls. alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I 
don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. I thought we were gonna torture it's him. It's done. Oh, man. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard. Where are you? Well, Tilly wants Let's me to spare him, so I'll do that. Yeah. Now get out of here. Damn. That was intense.